Hey, that would have been rude not to, wouldn't it? Pound each. Ron, Beryl, Ron! Hey, hello, my loves, and welcome back to the channel. And if it happens to be your first time here, hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys. Now, we're doing this vlog today to go into our budget vegan playlist, which I'll link in the first comment down there, and I'll also link up there. Uh, it's a good playlist. We did um, we did a, a real, like, strict budget week, didn't we, and documented it all. We did. Um, and I think I spent £30, if I remember rightly, we did a week for £30 breakfast, lunch and dinner for us both mm -hmm. yeah not 30 quid each no 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 so that was really good but uh we now i have to be honest here right we're both working we both work full-time jobs and do um you know youtube and i'm a, also a drag queen the vegan queens and uh, so on and so forth i admit that we're privileged yeah, that's fair. We we are reasonably privileged in terms of where we pick and choose to shop. Yeah, as in, we don't have to, I don't have to say, oh, I've only got this much budget for my shopping. And I know I am so lucky mm -hmm. to be in that situation. But I never lose sight of the fact that that hasn't always been the case. That sometimes we have had to be tight belted. And that some of you out there have to constantly be tight belted because you are on a budget. Yeah. Hence the budget vegan playlist. Because that deals with bulk cooking, budget buying, um, freezing stuff, using like one item for multiple things, all that kind of stuff. It's a great playlist. So I said to Jason this morning, oh, by the way, we talk a lot at the beginning of our vlogs. No, sorry, I talk a lot. <laughs> Jason sits and looks gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I said to Jason this morning, shall we just like have a quick visit to farm foods? You'll have already seen that in the thumbnail, of course, and the title. Um, so this farm foods, we have two accessible to us we have a a, a medium-sized store which usually has loads of stuff in ashton road on ashton road which is between oldham and ashton mm -hmm. this one is a bigger store but it's never been as as good as the other one oh is, i know what you mean which yeah. is weird yeah in terms of what they've got yeah yeah but we thought, right, well, this one is more realistic. Like, I'm not just going to go to the one where I'm guaranteed stuff. Because, let's see, if you've got a farm foods near you and you've never been, let's try and show you a realistic view of what you might see in your farm foods. And sometimes they have some really, really, really good bargains. They do, they do. And it switches up and it's a bit inconsistent. Um, but, yeah, it's worth just... Having a quick jump in your local farm foods, well, we'll find out, won't we? But we assume that they've always got, they've always got bits, bits and things. Yeah. yeah. So you're not you couldn't necessarily do a week shop there, but there's enough bits to get some freezer bits and you know stuff like that. So let us go in to farm foods and show you what they have available. If you've sat through all this chat, well done. Jason will have already put down here uh, when the shopping started, uh, which, funnily enough, is now. See, physically it's quite big. Um, so in we go. They always have loads of bulk buys on cans, so do your research to find out which ones are vegan. We do know that Pepsi Max is vegan, which is down there. And uh, there's a couple of things we're just checking out over here. Got these two in at the minute, which are featured on our um, meals vlogs. We've had them from Heron. Uh, the Heinz plant protein, Spanish style beans and Mexican style beans. 59p. Um, so, yeah, and we can vouch for both. They're quite lovely. We've just spotted these in one of the freezers as well. The Heinz beans burgers, uh, which are clearly marked vegan. Uh, the original one is a new recipe. Says so right there. Two boxes for a pound. And they've also got these um, magical beans, original nuggets, which are made with sweet corn and tomatoes for 39 pence. 
39 pence at the moment. So 39p for them and two for a pound for these. Onward. Couple of cooking sauces as well, not necessarily cheap, but the Madras is clearly marked uh, vegan. And the Balti, did you say, Jason? Yes. Yeah, clearly marked vegan. They're 189. These are kind of a mainstay item in um, farm foods, which are the hill biscuits. Hill biscuits. The ginger nuts, as it says there in text, suitable for vegetarians and vegans. They do, they're actually really good with their labeling. So these are vegetarian, vegetarian, vegan approved. That's the lemon creams, orange creams, vegan approved, and the chocolate creams. Oh, you can't see them properly. They're also vegan approved. Um, and they are three for a pound, uh, the Hills biscuits. So quite the selection. Just always check your labels, like we always say. Established in 1855, Hill Biscuits. I know. And just down the road from us, lock up. Isn't that lovely? Oh, are them vegan? No. It's vegetarian, yeah. So, like we say, check your labels. They say very clearly when they're vegan. Three for a pound. Classic Jammy Dodgers. <laughs> Classic Jammy Dodgers as well. Uh, which all three of these are clearly marked vegan. Uh, you've got the apple and black currant, the peach and apricot, and the original jammy. 49p for the two fancy flavours and a nice big family pack for 89p. Really good selection of tins as well in farm foods for 39p. Green lentils, black beans, spinach puree, red kidney beans, and on and on and on. And you know, just really good prices, 39p, 49p. Um, as we always say, check your labels, but usually when it just says beans and water, that's exactly what it, that's where the saying comes from. Exactly what it says on the tin. You might have seen these before, because I think they also sell something very similar in um, home bargains. Mm -hmm. uh, these are £1.20 and very clearly marked vegan. Really hard, crispy bruschetta, which is lovely with whatever two different kinds um, is it to, oh no all one kind yeah. garlic garlic and parsley there you go 120 some budget sauces as well and now all all of the ones we're showing you now are clearly marked vegan sweet Thai chili tomato ketchup is the sriracha Jason yeah, yeah. sriracha and brown the, sauce and the Korean style barbecue and the Korean style barbecue they're all uh Pound. The Korean, oh no, the barbecue sauce is 135 and uh, the sriracha is 149 but the rest are a pound. Clear the marks, vegan. And of course, for those of you with less time on your hands who just want some nutritious frozen veg, there is always a huge plethora of frozen veg and frozen fruit in uh, farm foods and the prices are usually between 89p and like 149 depending on what you're buying worth checking it out whole selection of stocks and gravies as well and the uh Knorr, uh sustainably sourced vegetable stock pots are clearly marked vegan and they're two quid and they also do the classic golden fry gravy which is again clearly marked vegan Lots of big uh, bulk buys as well, like uh, basmati rice and really big, big packets of spaghetti. One kilogram of spaghetti for a pound. Um, we've also got penne and, you know, loads of uh, bulk buys on pasta. So, and rices. Did you know that Shreddy's, uh, the chocolate, the cocoa one and Shreddy's original are clearly marked vegan and the two for a fiver? in farm foods should you fancy one of each and there's a few other things as well but we'll, uh, we'll we're not here to do a full blast through just thought we'd uh, we'd show you them too not budget but definitely worth getting um if you've never tried any of the merchant gourmet grains they they're always gorgeous they do a poi lentils as spanish style um 
grains and rice and quinoa and they're 135 each delicious and of course there's a few um, plant milks uh, you, you kind of average price for a, a plant milk Alpro Oat no sugars 149 and Alpro chocolate and strawberry uh, little mini you know for kids for lunch maybe 199 it's always weird when you see something like this and it's not clearly marked vegan but this plenish barista soya milk is it's short dated it's like mid-march uh, but it's 29p we'll just check the ingredients and there's nothing in there untoward it's just not clearly marked vegan uh, but from the ingredients it clearly is 29p of course there's a whole plethora of um, potato products as well uh, including oven chips and such and uh, quick chips used to be called micro chips for when you've no time and of course bird's eye potato waffles which in case you didn't know are waffly versatile and for an 18 box you can get three for a tenner if you've room okay now we've come to what might be the kind of core items so we've not spotted these before corn big bag great value 25 mini sausage rolls clearly marked vegan um 2.95 oh no no 2.99 2.99 they are we've never seen them before but they do say new so maybe they are new so there's them um is quam mince still only vegetarian it's quam mince it's not clearly marked vegan on the front which it normally is yeah so that's probably still got egg white in it however the quam um takeaway crunchy strips are one pound twenty nine and um, if you've never had them it's just it's eight vegan strips like you know chicken alternative uh, they're quite lovely we've had them a few times actually um got the linda mccartney uh sausages original sausages 10 in a bag for one pound 69 that's a bargain 10 in a bag one pound 69 and uh linda mccartney's meatballs and veggie mints both clearly marked vegan and um, the meatballs are 199 the veggie mints is also 199 that's decent man. it is <clears throat> uh they've got linda mccartney's country pies which has always been one of our favorites we love them they've been around over 30 years you know amazing, amazing. Either uh, one pound sixty nine. How much is the VFC? Now, you know what? I can't see a label for the VFC. I can't. I don't even remember seeing this before. Have we had this before? Not spicy popcorn chicken. Get one. This we'll, is medium spice. We'll tell them at the end yeah. how much it is. Um, right. Uh, these are the Gundy chicken pesto burgers. Uh, what? Well, they're one pound twenty nine. Yeah. We've had them. We can vouch for them. They're lovely. Uh, got the sausage rolls for 169 just six the red onion and rosemary sausages I think they're 169 yeah 169 oh, nice one. Um, great. I, I'm, I'm gone oh, sorry. sorry I'm coming yeah. that way uh, ignore the vegetarian quarter pounders from green cuisine they are not vegan they are vegetarian why they don't make them vegan I don't However, the Green Cuisine 10 Veggie Fingers are vegan and they're 169. Right, go on, promise. Oh, no, I was just going to say these are gluten free as well. So, Bird's Eye seasoned potato bites with a hint of chilli. Uh, and on the back, clearly marked, it's both are vegan. And how much are they? Um, uh, what, 229. Yeah. Uh, they've got the fully loaded Chicago Town Pizza, uh, two barbecue chicken for 225. Um, they've got the what the clock chicken pieces and chicken burgers clearly marked vegan two for a fiver uh, and then the ready meals from Heinz which again are clearly marked vegan and they're two for four pound so two pound each that's brilliant because their taste great they're great that's uh, an absolute but oh yeah I was trying to check these out Jay what are these uh, Spicy. I haven't seen them before. Have you seen these before? 
Linda McCartney uh, swi spicy sweet potato black bean and sweet corn burgers uh, I don't see clearly marked on there and also sulfites is bolded on the back right. which would indicate to me that it's, a, it's vegan burgers oh. vegan oh. burgers so sorry so, um, so I'm glad you spotted that and how much are there very veggie burgers 249 249 okay so yeah I mean there's plenty of plenty of stuff and there's even a bit more spreading into it next squeaky bean dippers Ooh. not seen them before either squeaky bean poppers and squeaky bean nuggets and squeaky bean dippers a pound oh, and spicy poppers. The back there. Can't get that. have you clearly marked vegan good show I've never known squeaky bean not to be No, but still. Vegan, chicken style. Excellent. In big words on the front. Pound? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Get one of them. Just get the hot and spicy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And the... Well, for a quid. Pound each. Hey, that would have been rude not to, wouldn't it? Pound each. Ron, Beryl. Ron! Just in case you didn't know, most of Seabrook's flavours are clearly marked uh, vegan, including prawn flavour and beef flavour and um, Worcestershire sauce flavours. These are two for two fifty anyway. Uh, sea salted crinkle cut, beefy crinkle cut, uh, Seabrook's rings, prawn, cocktail. I'll show you by the way. It says right there, vegan approved. On the back, uh, the crinkled sea salted the fries and the crunches um, and the golden wonder Ringo Puffs are you being homophobic? three for four pound you'll find a few vacuum packed ingredients as well uh, like um, super sweet corn on the cob for example ready to eat apparently one pound nine Medjool dates, uh, two for six pound, and uh, as Jason just spotted, um, they've even got the vegan Saint Pierre croissants in for two pound ten, and the uh, pan au chocolat. For two oh, and the ten pan au well. chocolat, two pound ten. It's brilliant, and um, we've talked about these before. I can't remember if it's Asda they sell these at Leicester Bakery Nan Breads. Clearly marked vegan. Gorgeous, massive. We just have one between us when we have a curry. One pound twenty-nine. They've got the garlic and coriander, and the plain. Um, and they also do a lot of Kingsmill bread and stuff, uh, which is, again, clearly marked vegan. And they have fridges, and sometimes you'll see in there um, some vegan bits, but uh, not seeing much in there today. Just the floor. Uh, however, they do sell the flora. Oh, you're very dark. Spotted Jason darkly. And, for the record, you can usually get a good range of Astonish uh, cleaning products, uh, which are always marked vegan and cruelty free. So, you know, there's a multi purpose with bleach, kitchen cleaner, window and glass, fabric stain remover, carpet care bathroom cleaner uh, all kinds of bits and hand washes and stuff um, I was going to show you something else I'm looking around like like I've lost my brain look at Jason <laughs> oh they've got Fabuloso as well yes for a pound bathroom cleaner multi-purpose cleaner uh, kitchen cleaner and the smaller bottles as well disinfectants and stuff oh astonish dishwasher tablets as well yeah. so yeah uh, astonish and fabuloso for the win see you in the car maybe at the tail <laughs> um we're getting this little lot and i'm going to tell you how much it is when we've got we picked up two bags of each of these by the way because would have been rude not to so let's show you how much that lot is when we get through this is the lovely alicia how much was that my darling 845 love. 8.45 thanks love subscribe <laughs> Can we just acknowledge, please, how adorable and beautiful and special Alicia was? 
salute to that. Salute to you, Alicia. Thank you, darling, for uh, for. I just asked her. I said, "Will you tell us how much it is on camera?" <laughs> Holding our card up <laughs> and saying, "Subscribe." Legendary. At eight pound forty-five. Eight pound forty-five for six bags of squeaky bean nuggets and dippers, dippers. and things. Yeah. One box, two boxes of um, uh, Heinz nuggets. No, one box. Sorry, thirty-nine p. The VFC, by the way, was sixty-nine p. Yes. You nearly uh, ran back and got another box. I and then did. We were like, we've got I enough. Said, no, we've got enough. We've got enough. We've got all that squeaky bean stuff is dippy stuff as well. And the uh, bean burgers, um, two for a pound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Perfect for us dippy things. You know we love hot sauces. So hot sauces, we've got at home in ample supply, and now we've got ample supply of dippy things. Eight pound forty-five though, for seven eight meals. Yeah, yeah. The takeaway is from this vlog really is check out our budget playlist, like Paul said at the start. But also check out your herons, your farm foods, your B and M bargains. Yeah, and it might be you know in your little town it might be called. DNS discount store or you know Mabel's bits <laughs> it might even if you're in a different country it might be called something like Bazaar Colon there's a shop called Bazaar Colon in Tenerife just down from the um, hotel what's the hotel called Columbus Columbus yeah so now you know yeah uh, I'm right glad we did this today mm -hmm. actually um, because a lot of people do cite particularly price even though uh, most of the items available to vegans now are the equivalent of their cruelty counterparts their cruelty opposites should i say um but eight pound 45. can't beat it really you can't beat it I so you, can. you know what i'll say i'll say if you've enjoyed this vlog if you're still here yes please do give the video a thumbs up uh, if you've enjoyed it it'd be greatly appreciated it takes you but a second and uh, please also consider subscribing to the channel because we upload on the reg down to earth veganism veganism all the way we do indeed uh, is that right i believe so i love you mister love you Mwah. love you guys thank you so so much for watching we will see you again soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other bye loves Go and play Freezer Jenga now, which is a, it's one of my favourite games, to be honest with you. Freezer Jenga.